everybody, this is Praxis, and I just arrived on site this morning, and I'm about to open up all the stucco work that I did just the other day. It's all been covered in plastic. It's been kind of rainy. It's been ideal weather for this stuff to cure, and this is kind of the big reveal. I don't know what's under there, and if you recall, I had a little bit of trouble with the mix where I ran out, and I was trying to kind of, uh, you know, smooth it around to try to make it so that they, there wouldn't be two, multiple colors of concrete, and I'm going to pull it off right now, and we'll, we'll see what it looks like. It may, given that it's damp, it might not really, it might not look all that different even if it is going to be different because uh, when it's damp it might all kind of be dark, but I, I feel like in the past I was able to see a little bit of variation despite that. Okay. All these pieces of plastic, these are all just pieces of plastic that uh, came with our piles of supplies over here. These in particular came with the pink foam insulation that was used right here. Whenever I get all those wrappers and stuff, I always keep those things because they're really handy for covering up concrete or covering up lumber or just covering up anything. One of the contractors le left his sawzall from doing the electrical work the other day, and I was able to just throw it under a tarp and you know send him a message and he's like, okay, you know, you left your tool here. I put it under a tarp so it won't get wet, so you can pick it up. Um, but yeah, I always keep all this kind of stuff. It's usually very handy. Ugh, and wet and dirty. All right. So far, so good through here. Branches are also really handy for holding this stuff up. Because you don't want anything too, uh, uh, too hard laying against it. Just a nice light branch. It's kind of nice. Oh, now this stuff's all covered in mud. Uh, it looks a little patchy here, but a lot of the ones in the past had a little bit of a patchy look to them. And that kind of, you know, just as it dried, it kind of smoothed out. So nothing bad here. I've got a little mark here little circle. This is where the gray water is going to come from the kitchen. The kitchen sink is going to be right there and I made a pass through. It's kind of secret. Um, you know, for the initial plumbing inspection and everything, none of that stuff's going to be there, but there's no wire lath there. So the, it's just a thin layer of concrete, uh, two layers of foam, and then a hole through the, the foundation. So this will be easy to kind of just pop out. Let's see. Can I pull these down without pulling stuff down on top of me? I don't know about that. Let's see. Hi. This is the area up here that I was most concerned about, and it actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty uniform throughout. It was up in this area where I started running out and I needed to uh, get other stuff. It's a little uh, lighter here than here, but that's just because of the dryness. It's a, you know, there's morning dew on here and not on there. Overall, it looks pretty good. I'm going to have to release these from you know, going up on top. So that, 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 all, that all worked out pretty well. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I, I've got a shovel right here, and I can start, well, doing this taking the, all this gravel and gently putting it back on around the foundation. This area has been really kind of, well, I don't want to use the word difficult, although, you know, for river maybe a little bit difficult to walk through because, uh, you know, there's a trench and you don't want to step on top of the foam or, or any of this area here. So it's, it's been a little bit of a, a trick to navigate through. But now it's starting to all smooth out and everything, and uh, it's, it's good. By the way, this, this pipe over here, if you recall, that is the uh, outside air uh, source for the wood stove that comes up over there. You see the little white tube coming up out of this concrete. This is where it's going to come up in the greenhouse to get air for that. I'm not going to leave it just like that. I figured, uh, I don't know what the ultimate height is going to be. It'll be no higher than that, maybe shorter. I thought maybe I'd put like, I don't know, some rocks around it uh, or something, just kind of disguise it and it'll pull air through all the cracks in the rocks and, and get it there that way. But uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that's what that is. And I can finally just kind of start filling around it. Uh, everything's a little bit moist this morning. Uh, and once things do dry out, I'm gonna do all this kind of stuff first. Once things start drying out, uh, I'm gonna work on posts. These things right here, I've got them all marked off where they're going to go. And then as things dry off even more, if they get to that point today, because it has been a little wet, uh, I'm going to be working on floorboards again. The floorboards are the, the, mo the thing that you most want to do when they're dry, because those things, they really, you really see the shrinkage and the crackage um, you know, between them if you work on them when they're wet. But at the very least, I'll be able to do a lot of posts today. That's it. Thanks for watching.